Hey guys, I'm so excited to film today's video. It's been a really long time since I've been wanting to film this video, weeks now. So I'm just excited I finally was able to do this. And I recently subscribed to a YouTuber here named Bargain Bethany. She tends to do a lot of videos on Dollar Tree hauls. So I just thought it would be really, really fun to do one myself. I've been wanting to do this for weeks. So last Friday I took my mom and my sister to go to Dollar Tree and buy some different things. Again, my channel is primarily going to be beauty focused, but I think that every now and again it is nice to throw in something a little different, a little fun. I definitely hope that by the end of this video you will be convinced that there are some really good things at Dollar Tree, girl. Like, for real. I'm actually going to start with one thing that's not from Dollar Tree. This is the only thing I didn't buy at Dollar Tree. I bought this at Dee Dee's Discounts and I don't know if this exists in other states, but... In South Florida, there has been a store kind of like Ross that is called Dee Dee's Discounts. I really like it. So anyways, I ended up buying a three-piece set of canvases. The other three are on the back here. I really love paintings. Anytime I see a deal on canvases, I always want to grab them. I do have already like a stock, but I just like having different size canvases for when I'm inspired to do different paintings that I have options and I'm not limited. The next thing which I thought was pretty cool was this gift wrap from Dollar Tree. Like guys, like this whole long behind thing was a dollar. Like it's probably not that much wrapping paper, but for a dollar, this really nice design, I think it could do at least two or three gifts. So I was really excited when I saw this at the dollar store because I just think it's like a great deal. And I mean, why not? It's only a dollar. So I really like that. The next thing I got was a little decoration piece. It says lead with your heart and it just says love right there. I think it's super duper cute. This brand is something that I saw the Bargain Bethany talk about. It's Bolero. This is a bath fizzer. Um, it's kind of like a bath bomb. It says relax and soak let the stress melt away. I don't take baths all that much, but this is definitely a motivator to take a bath. And it smells pretty, I mean, it doesn't have like a super strong smell, but it does smell pretty good. It says it's oatmeal and shea scent. There was a coconut one and another scent, but I really like the smell of oatmeal and shea, so this was the natural choice for me. The next thing I decided to buy was a pair of scissors. Now, this might not seem like super awesome or crazy cool, but I just thought having a nice pair of scissors at my job would be really nice. I did formerly have a pair of scissors at my job and they weren't mine. They were the company's but someone must have gotten their hands on it and I just never got it back. So I figured I'm going to invest a dollar in a nice pair and put my name on it so that hopefully the same thing doesn't happen again. Next, I'm really excited about this one. This is the Hula Girl. I love these. First, I had a little uh, flower pot that used to go back and forth but that broke. I did replace it with a little elf that is still in my car. Um, I happen to love Christmas, so I'm totally cool with keeping that up there, but I figured this is more seasonally appropriate. And again, she's just a little hula dancer and she moves based on the sun, just back and forth. I just thought this was like uber duper cute. There's a lot of little luau things at the Dollar Tree at this time of year, so you know, if you're planning a luau party, definitely a good thing, but I just picked this little girl up because I just thought she was super cute. The next thing I bought is this little succulent plant, um, and it's, I want to use it for my desk. It's fake. It's not real, but I really like this because it looks pretty realistic, and it's just so cute. I really just love succulents, actually. I really, really do, so I thought this would be a nice twist. I did see Bethany get these and use them in a DIY. She tends to do a lot of DIYs, but I figured I would just leave this as it is and just put this as a nice little touch to my desk. Next, I bought this little um, wall decoration thing, and if you look closely, this is kind of what it looks like. It's a little banner, um, but I plan to kind of do it a little differently. I mean, I'm still gonna do the banner thing, but I might not use all the additional little decorations like these little birds on it. I might use the birds for something else, and my plans for this are to probably use it on some wall in my room, maybe make it as a backdrop for my YouTube videos. I'm really trying to get into it, guys. I'm really trying to make my channel just something good. I want to invest in it and I want to make it nice um, in terms of my efforts. And guys, speaking of efforts, I know that I look a hot mess today, but I feel like we're family here. Like, it's okay that we look a little messy. Beauty is inner beauty as well. Like, you don't have to put on makeup to look and feel beautiful. If I jump on here in videos and I'm bare face, I just hope, you know, that's okay with you guys that I'm not necessarily wearing makeup. Anyways, the next thing is another little um, decoration of wall art and it says be grateful. And actually one of my coworkers at work does have this um, at her desk and when I first saw it, I thought it was so beautiful. And so 
I definitely want to have this somewhere around my room here at home. The next thing is also decoration and it's actually two-sided so I thought that was really cool. This side says my room was clean but then I had to decide what to wear and I think that's just totally hilarious because it's pretty much true. Like if you look at my room right now like it's pretty bad. And I tend to just be a really messy person when I'm getting ready. The other side says wake up and make up and I just thought that was really cute. So it's kind of nice to be able to get two for one. So depending on my mood, I will be changing this every now and again. Next, I just got this little TikTok pack. And when I was in the line, a guy asked me, have you tried those? And he said, you know, they, they're different, but they taste really good that he likes them. So, you know, I mean, I figured for a dollar, I would be willing to try three packs. I think each pack brings like 18 little TikToks. And so I just wanted to have that. I like sweet treats and candy. This is what it looks like. It's just really cute and really nice. And I actually, I'm curious. I want to try one right now. So... It smells a little weird. It smells definitely like artificial berries. Okay, so not bad. It doesn't, I don't know what kind of berry I'd describe this to be, but it doesn't taste bad. It tastes kind of like the icebreakers, the berry flavored ones. I think it's good for a dollar. I'm not mad. The next thing I got is a little gift box, and I just thought this was so super duper cute. And I may very well use it as a gift box, or I might just use it for decorations, honestly, to store things in here. I really like storage, and I have a lot of storage, so I think it'd be really cute as a gift or even as storage. We got another little gift box. This one is in pink. Similar idea. And just to show them side by side, this is what they look like. It's a little bit bigger um, in all respects, but I just, I love them. They're super cute. Next, I did pick up this candle when I was in the candle section. I was like, something smells so delicious, like so delicious. It actually came with a little lid, so here's what it actually looks like, and you'll see why the lid is like kind of funny. It's a salted caramel frappe. This makes me think of the little Starbucks frappuccinos, and it, it smells really good, guys. Like, I know Dollar Tree candles might not always smell strong, but this one actually has a very strong scent, and I love it. Like, it's just, it's kind of like a hazelnut type of scent. So, I'm really excited to light this. I love candles, so it's going to be really fun. This next thing is actually a gift I'm considering for someone who really likes pictures, so I want to put a couple pictures of me and that person in here. It is really, really cute, so... I'm telling y'all, don't sleep on Dollar Tree. Next, I got these little clips. I always seem to buy these, and then they always break. Like, always. Okay, so I definitely always try to stock up on these when I get to Dollar Tree. They do have a multicolored pack, but I just like the standard black and white. I also got these glitters. Now, I have no real plans for them as of yet, but I love crafts and things like that. So I figured it's never a bad idea to have glitters. And there were different color themes, like they were purples and blues, but... I don't know, I felt like I could get more use out of these colors. I think whatever I decide to come up with is going to be really cool. I was able to do a craft with glitters kind of like this. I have little paintings in my bathroom. You might have seen it in my brush cleaning video. I have letters, a D and an I, in glitter. And it's just so really, like, pretty. And I use these kinds of little glitter packs. So I definitely have plans to use these at some point. I just don't know exactly what. I also did pick up this cute little trinket. It's like a little thought bubble and it says no limits. There's little feathers around it and I just really liked what it said. There was other little trinket trays that said other cute little things. Some things about Jesus and other things. But I just like this one because it was like cute and girly and nice and fun. And for a dollar like you just can't beat it. I often like take off my bracelets and earrings and everything and I like to put them on little trinket trays. I have one of a little squirrel and it's super cute. So I thought it would be really nice to maybe have this in my bathroom. I'm super excited about that. And then the last thing I got was actually a set of paintings. I don't know if you know this but Dollar Tree has a lot of different little wall art painting type of things and so I was looking through all of them and I noticed a lot of different flowers and I figured it'd be a great idea to have like a little wall full of flowers and I didn't get that much but I decided to pick up four. So I got this one this one, just so you can kind of see them. This one, and this one. And I figured it'd just be really nice to put all of these together and make kind of like a wall full of flowers. I mean, somewhere down the line I might end up picking more, but I just think it'd be really nice to put these all together and arrange them in some way to kind of have it like a backdrop. That does complete my Dollar Tree haul. I do want to thank you guys so much for watching and just spending a little bit of time with me. I do appreciate every minute that you give to me and watching my videos. I do hope you have a great, wonderful rest of your day, and I do hope you check out the Dollar Tree. Let me know what you've got.
Bye.